In Commitment 2008 News tonight, controversy over who some elected officials politically endorse. The state Republican leaders are questioning why some Republicans are standing behind Democrat Mary Landrieu in the race for U.S. Senate instead of Republican John Kennedy. WDSU News Channel 6 anchor Camille Whitworth is on your side live to explain what the GOP plans to do about it. Camille? Chris and Norman, there are some members of the Louisiana Republican Party who say formal rules or repercussions should be put in place for members who break party lines to support political candidates. Well, we're seeing it happen right now, especially in the race for Senate. Billion dollar bailout. The trouble starts in the heated race between Mary Landrieu and John Kennedy. Mary Landrieu, the only one. But there is also steam coming from the Republican Party, concerned that several prominent Republicans, including eight parish wide elected officials, are supporting Landrieu, the Democrat, over Kennedy. Well, we're not really happy that they are endorsing Mary Landrieu. We really think that uh, they're making a mistake endorsing her. She's very liberal in her thoughts. Some want to sanction Republicans endorsing Landrieu in the upcoming election, but GOP Chairman Roger Villery says any action will have to wait. It would have to change our bylaws, and our bylaws couldn't even be changed till next year. Jefferson Parish Sheriff Newell Norman endorsed Landrieu. The importance of seniority, uh, the importance of her seat on the Appropriations Committee, and the fact that her opponent um, is not sure what he is. And he makes no apologies. When I became a Republican, I, I did not know that that meant that I, there was a blood oath to the Republican Party and that other people would decide for me who was the best person for the job. Political pollster Dr. Silas Lee says crossing party lines for endorsements is not unusual. Mary Landrieu obviously delivered some resources to other Republicans in influential positions and at this time they felt that okay we know her she's delivered for us and we feel comfortable in endorsing her. So while the GOP is angry. I don't think they have all the facts and I think they made a hasty decision. Sheriff Norman and others like him stand firm. Now, I'm not sure what the sanction is. Uh, they can start with not asking me for any money like they do all the time. That would be a good start. Well, you can hear the controversy there. Villery didn't say what sanctions exactly would be considered, but Republicans say they do not want to see this become a trend. And if there is punishment or some sort of sanction, it cannot take effect until after this year's elections. Norman.